Things I don't like in January. Black ice. I'm expected to drive through this to get out of my house every day and on most of the side streets. Very annoying. This is why I don't like driving. Anywho, things we do like in January, the Chinook. The Chinook winds. It's very windy today, so I'm very, very happy. And so the ice is melting. Hopefully by tomorrow, everything will be gone. Things we love all year long. Packages. Hello everyone, welcome to my January vlog. So I decided that I would try to do a vlog once every month because last vlog, the one I did in December, it got so much love and I feel like doing a vlog every month, at least once a month, is a good way to like take a little break on my channel from the handbag content and just do some life day in the life type content just a little bit more so today is the 6th of january it is friday so happy little christmas happy ukrainian christmas happy feast of advent happy old christmas whatever you call it wherever you are depending on your culture happy happy everything to you i am going to be taking down my christmas decorations uh, this weekend so i don't celebrate old christmas or advent or any of that but this time of the year to me the 12th day of Christmas marks when the Christmas season is officially over. That's just the way my mom did it and that's the tradition I'm continuing as well. So I don't take down my Christmas decorations until January the 6th. So that's the plan for this weekend. It's Friday. I just got back from work. I'm supposed to be tired, but I'm actually very excited because this was waiting for me at my doorstep. So. That is a, an item that I ordered in December and it's a birthday present or well technically the money was gifted to me as a birthday present and I decided to put it towards this handbag from Coach Outlets that I've been wanting for a while. I'm very excited to open it because I want to see it in person. I have never seen it in person before um, but I just really wanted it and now that I have it, like even before it arrived, I've been contemplating do I want it? Do I return it i feel like i'm almost going to return it because coach outlet just released the Peyton hobo which i think they're not similar but they kind of give out the same vibe and so i'm like should i return this and get that or return it don't get the hobo and put the money towards something else but anyways you guys can help me decide in that video i'm not going to unbox it in this video i'm going to unbox it in a proper sit down video so if this is the first time on my channel welcome my name is tammy and this is the yellow sparks joy make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell notification so you get notified every single time i put a new video like the one where i will be unboxing this signature sea beauty from coach outlet okay let me i need to reset get in the right frame of mind i want to film this video tonight because tomorrow is take down christmas decorations try to at least try to deep clean the house maybe not a full deep clean but try to clean it up a bit organize all my christmas decorations and that is going to suck up so much of my energy i just know it will and then i'm also going to try to film two more videos tomorrow so i want to film this one two nights because i'm really excited and i want to see what's in there so let me set up for that <laughs> It's just, I think it's about 5 p.m., but there's no, there's no more daylight, which is sad, which means that I'm not going to have as much light as I like or as I would prefer in this room while I'm filming, and I don't want to go upstairs because my son's watching TV, so I will film here, and I just hope that the video quality is as good as it can be. Okay, so I'll see you guys when I'm done. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day, and it is finally time to take down all of these Christmas decorations, so... It's going to be a chore. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but I have to do it nonetheless. So I need to get all the totes out, all the storage totes, empty them, um, sort through the things that I want to keep, the things that I don't think I'm going to be using, and then arrange everything I'm taking down and put it back in the, in the totes and then keep them back. So hopefully I'll be able to downsize because I feel like I have so much Christmas decor. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to downsize. It might take a while, but yeah, the sooner I start, the better for me.
So I got these um, ornament storage boxes from Dollarama. They, they were about $3, $2.50, I think. $3. I got some last year, but I've got more um, bubbles for my tree this year. So I decided to pick up two more. I hope they're enough, but I really, really like them. Um, and I think they're sold out now. But they sell out really quick. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this package. They sell them at Michael's too, but they're more expensive. These ones are flimsier, but honestly, they get the job done just the same. Um, so it's, I don't know, what would you call this? Just plastic, like table mat type of material. And then it's, you fold it out into a box. You put the um, cardboard at the bottom. And then it comes with these divider pieces where you can create dividers within the box. But honestly, I just prefer to throw all the bubbles in there. You get much more in the box than if you use the dividers. So this is how I contain my balls and a couple other ornaments for my tree as well. Okay, so I found this one in this bag. I had some balls from in there from last year that I didn't use. I used some of them this year, but I didn't use everything. So this is what it looks like with the dividers in there. So it really, it just, it depends on the ornament. So here I have balls and some other things that are not balls. Like I have these lights, so different shapes. So I guess, I think that's why I decided to use it on here. But mostly I just prefer to use it without. <laughs> So the tree is down, well one of the trees, and then I have put on my bows here, um, floral picks, sentimental ornaments are in that box, gold, red and browns, silver and um, white, and this one's empty because that's where I'm going to put the pink ornaments that are on that small tree there. So. I still have stuff laid out. Um, the trees in the bag. I still have the peninsula to do. So it's the peninsula, the small tree, and then I'm gonna figure out where everything goes. Right here, I have all this is gonna go in the garbage. This is garbage. This is donate. So I've pretty much emptied this box, and I think that's where all the balls are going to go. And then I have to go through this box and empty it and see what's going back in see what's not and i think i'm good i've done pretty well i'm very happy so i am done taking down all of christmas it was not easy at all but the back the house is finally back to normal i must have spent about five hours doing just the upstairs thank god i didn't decorate downstairs <laughs> I'd have been crying by now. But anyways, that's done. And then um, I was just on my phone and I saw a video on Instagram. How many of you follow Tana Leatherstein on Instagram? The guy who does like who dissects leather goods and talks about how they're made and things like that. I really enjoy watching his um, Instagram videos. And I think he's on TikTok. I think he actually went viral on TikTok first. Pretty much everything he talks about, I have kind of always known because so let me let me tell you guys a little story growing up there was this um cobbler beside my house who used to fix like leather shoes handbags mostly shoes but he not only used to fix them he actually used to make um shoes and belts as well not many people knew that but i did because i um i remember the very first time i found out was i think i took a pair of shoes to him to get fixed and I stayed there like usually I drop them off and then come back later pick them up but I actually stayed there and I was very inquisitive as a child so I, I would ask like a million questions and I just started talking and we started talking about you know um leather and things like that and so I actually began to look forward to going over to his shop just so I could learn more and then the thing about where so I grew up in Lagos Nigeria and there's lots of crafty um, shops and craftsmen around like there were so many handmade things like there were basket weavers leather workers like you could go to the the open air markets and buy like see leather being sold so I had I was quite familiar with leather I didn't know there were different kinds at the time I didn't know there were different kinds of leather or different grades or how you could process leather I just used to see the raw leather in the open air markets and I know how much they sold for so fast forward to now, as an adult, when I got into um, handbags and designer items, it just, in the beginning, it used to make me wonder how 
brands could mark up their prices so much when leather is leather. Like I was like, but it's just leather. Why is, why is it marked up? And then I began to understand um, how the fashion industry works and branding and marketing and business in general and things like that. So everything that this guy says in his TikToks and on his Instagram um, reels, are pretty much things that I've always had at the back of my mind, but he is able to break it down in such an articulate and academic way that's so, that is so useful for people who genuinely enjoy designer items and just want to get the best bang for their buck. So today, so the video I saw of him today, he dissected a Tory Burch bag and basically he was just talking about everything that has upset me about Tory Burch for the past year or so. So he dissected one of the bags that they made with um, Safiano leather and he kind of compared it to Prada Safiano leather because it's the same thing basically. Um, and he's like, the Prada one, even though he never liked it when he dissected the Prada bag, was still better than the Tory Burch one. And that the handbags, they're, they're, it's not just about the leather on the surface, but what is beneath and the materials that are used to back up the leather or give the bag its shape like the rest of it. And and in that respect, Tory Burch was really ra- lacking. Their Safiano leather to start with wasn't even very good it wasn't a very good grade of leather and then the other materials they used as well weren't as good so i have noticed that for the last year or so tory burch quality has been declining i used to love tory burch a whole lot i still do i love their designs and it just makes me wonder how the brand what direction the brand exactly is going to like has anybody noticed the decline in quality am i the only one i know that about two or one and a half years ago they tried to increase their prices that wasn't very successful they saw a decline in their sales and then i think they brought the prices back down or something of that nature but i know that the terry brush that i fell in love with three years ago is not the same one that has been for the past year and i really can't pinpoint what exactly it is if it's just the questionable quality of their handbags now or, or if it's more than that so let me know what you guys think have you what do you think about terry birch quality now um, it, are you guys even still interested in buying from Tory Burch? I feel like they showed so much potential and promise, but now, you know, it's just, I'm eager to see what they come up with this year or what they do this year. Um, I guess I can only just watch and see. But yeah, that's what I was just thinking about. I thought I would share that with you guys. Now my body is like, my body is aching. I've been cleaning for like the past four or five hours. I'm just going to pop something on the TV relax and enjoy the rest of my evening and i will see you guys um maybe tomorrow bye good morning beautiful people i guess who's very excited today of course me why am i excited did you ask you probably didn't but i'm gonna tell you anyway i'm going to the big city today so i'm going to calgary today and of course what is the only there are, see there are only ever two reasons why i go to calgary one when i need to go to the airport when I want to travel and two (laughs) when I'm going to the mall so so excited because I'm going to the outlet malls today um at Cross Iron Mills because I want to go and see the new collection that Coach Outlet has in store another thing that put me on in a good mood is Dior's new campaign their latest campaign for their 9523 bag so that's their newest bag by Maria Grazzaciuri and one of the faces for that bag, for that campaign, is my hero, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And oh my goodness, like when I saw that this morning, I was like, wow. I was blown away. I was truly so happy. Chimamanda is such a queen. She is someone I, I, well, I don't, I, I'm not going to say I look up to her because we're not in the same line of work. She's an author. She's an awesome writer. She's a uh, feminist she is just, she's just my hero she's a queen she's living her life unapologetically like her true to herself true to her roots and now she's a face for dior like oh my god and i can only just imagine the caliber of other women that are going to be faces for this campaign because if they could start off with chimamanda i mean it just means that this campaign is taking a whole different level like to have someone like her be the face for this bag it's like this is the bag for the woman who has who has it all. Like she's achieved everything. She's been on talk shows all over the world. She's a published 
New York Times bestseller author. She's uh, she's won so many literary prizes. She's she does speaking engagements everywhere. She's she's done TEDx talks so many times. She's I wrote a paper about her in college. That's how much I admire her and her work and what she's done in the space for women in the world. She like imagine Beyonce sampled her content and she didn't even like Chimamanda was like, well, I don't particularly agree with Beyonce's type of feminism. Like it was crazy. Like for anybody, like everybody's always like, oh, Queen B, Queen B. And Chimamanda is like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it was great. I just love her. So I'm so excited that Dior has chosen her for their campaign for the um, uh, 9523 bag. That was so awesome. Definitely made my morning. So yeah, two things I thought I would chat with you guys about, and that's it. We'll be on our way to Calgary, and I'll see you guys at the store. Everybody say hi to my Phoebe. <laughs> so we just got to Calgary, and I am now at Style Encore. Style Encore? Style Encore. I, I like to say Encore because it's French, right? This is what the store looks like in Calgary. Two full bags of purses and small leather goods. So let's see how much we can make today oh thank you hello oh wow it's big and so well organized like maybe because we got here early so it's pretty still really nice that's cool There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me so this is what I found. It is an anthropology set. Uh, 22 bucks. Originally, how much? It says back here, 150. 150. What do you guys think? Live it or take it home with me? Is it a right fit? Like when I put my arms down, it's the cut is right. But like when I move, you know, I don't know. I'm not as cool as some of you guys. So let me know what you think. Good or no? <laughs> Like all the same tracks, listen all night in the sheets all black. Said I'm falling fast, don't remember life before you, that's fast. I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. Our first time, our first day. You're so fine, I'm so late. You sip wine, I drink straight. Don't waste time to my place. I feel my heart erase. So catch me if I fall. Awesome, thank what you. What an adventure. I got 60 bucks and change, got a pair of glasses. I didn't get... <laughs> <laughs> These are the glasses, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get the two piece, the set, because it's like, I thought it was 26 bucks for the set. It ended up being 26 bucks for just one piece and 22 for the other. I'm like, no, this is a set. I'm not gonna buy it separately. I'm not gonna pay 40 bucks for that so yeah so i ended up um taking back all my purses i only let go of the kate spade and all the slgs except one so everything else is coming with me i would have better luck selling it for a much more distant price on poshmark it might take a while but it will sell eventually now i feel bad for declining some offers on posh because honestly the offers on posh even though i felt like they were low ball they were so much better than this get this they only offer you a third of what they're going to sell it for that's like crazy i mean you come here you buy stuff it's nice to buy stuff because it's cheap but it's very painful to sell your own stuff because it's like <gasps> anyways we're done here now let's go to the mall behold the Peyton hobo this is a bag. My favorite. Okay. Point at your color. Are you on three? One, two, three. 
That was too obvious. They don't have the pink and signature. It's too obvious. But I like it because it's it's white and yeah, silver. I'm gonna get that color. I'm gonna get it in some a different style, not that one. This is my Terry, mm, and this is see. the Peyton. So it's like Terry Peyton, Terry Peyton, Terry Peyton. You know? Mm. They're similar, but they're different. So it's like, why is it so difficult? Yeah. It might go on sale, and then I can buy. Buy it too. Mm -hmm. Both of them. Can we test this? Stuff? People of YouTube, we have keys, coin purse, hand cream, lip bar, uh, hand cream, lip balm, a wallet, and a phone, all in there. And we're gonna zip it up. Do we like the shape with all that stuff in it? No. This is not the way it was supposed to be. I was supposed to come here and not like it. I have that one in blue denim. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm not a first person, but you gotta be a little impressed. Sometimes I'm like... I have that one in blue denim. It's Cute. so pretty, I love it. Yeah, no, I really like it. I love it. It's awesome, actually. Uh, you, know you, you are so me. right. <laughs> yes, you are the rightest person. You know I love you. Yes, this is what I want. I'm gonna buy my this. My inner self just <laughs> Look, they even have a cherries one. Okay, that one's actually really cute. That's well. so cute. But I have big cherries like this. I have that. Two different colors. They still have these? What? Okay, I'm buying too much. Why? You don't need that. <laughs> but I might need these. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. We're friends and no, we're not. Yes, we're not friends. I'm leaving my happy place. I'm leaving and I'm so sad. Why am I so dramatic though? I think it's cute. That was fun. Did you have I, a good time? I had a blast. Yes. <laughs> it was hard not to go out with a lot more. <laughs> oh, we're supposed to be going that way. Are we? Because we're going to Michael Kors. Do you want them? Guess what? My Phoebe bought me something. <laughs> but she bought me something and that was so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> the next day and I had so much fun yesterday like I hardly get those days where I get to just go and just like be hang out with my girlfriends and just have like a relaxed just me time if that makes any sense like to me that counts as me time and I hardly get it those days I'm usually like working at my job or working on YouTube or being mommy or like there's some event that I'm attending like with family and friends or I'm just at home doing chores so it's really nice for me to get out like even though I'm still working on YouTube while I do my um, shop with me vlogs it's kind of still fun for me because it's truly something I love to do like window shopping and stuff and window shop I did because I'm very very proud that I didn't buy anything even though I do have um, a mini haul to share with you guys but uh, first of all let me give you the my decision let me tell you about my decision on the Terry versus the Peyton, I did walk out of the store with one of those bags, which is what I intended to do. So I was either going to return the Terry and pick up the Peyton or um, not bother with the Peyton at all and then just keep my Terry. So when I got to the store and I saw the Peyton, I, st I was still having like those doubts. It was still like, I like it, but do I like it more than the Terry? And for me, when I can't make a decision like in a snap, it definitely means that I don't love the bag. And if I don't love the bag, I do not want to add it to my collection. That is a mistake I'm not going to be making anymore going forward. So what I decided was that the Payton is new. I'm pretty sure they'll bring it out in more colors and different variations as time goes by over during the year. And if at some point it does come out in a color or a pattern that I absolutely immediately in love with and I'm able to purchase it at that time, then I will. 
I also wanted to talk about my experience at Style Encore. So it wasn't what I was expecting and it was expected at the same time. Now I had heard that they do not offer great prices for your bags, but I wasn't expecting to be as low as it was. I don't know why. Now what the really nice person, like it's a great store. Like when I walked in, I was very impressed at how organized it was, how nice and big it looked. They had quite a large uh, selection of items. Um, they were fairly priced, really well priced. And that I understand that for them to be well priced, they have to buy really low. But what the lady explained to me was that they buy at a third of the price they're going to sell. So if they're selling something for um, $600, they will buy it from you for $200 and then turn around and sell it at $600. It makes sense business wise, but for the seller, like for someone like me who has these designer items, like I, I saw a Gucci bag there for 600. Yes, it was old, vintage, discontinued style, but it's still Gucci. It was still in good condition. It was black, classic staple black, $600, which means they bought it from whoever the previous owner was for $200. And now they're turning around to sell it for 600. I don't know. That just didn't sit well with me. Um, would I be happy buying a Gucci bag for 600? Yes. Will I be happy knowing I'm buying it for 600 when they bought it for 200? I'm not sure. But yeah, I ended up not selling them any of my bags. No, that's a lie. I did sell them my um, Kate Spade um, Locket flap bag because I honestly don't use that bag. And so I just felt it should go somewhere else. So I didn't mind selling that for a low price, honestly, So it's because I just wanted it out of my collection. Um, I think I kept the receipt, so I might be able to show you guys what the actual prices were. So I let go of the Kate Spade Large Locket Flap Bag in pink, which is kind of why I was hoping to add the Peyton in pink and light khaki signature because I wanted to like replace that with something more subtle because I'm not a pink person, but I do want a pink bag because I know some outfits would require that color. Um, but that didn't happen, but I let go of the bag. Anyway, I also let go of my SLG, so uh, Coach 5 ring key holder, uh, one of the corner zip wristlets, um, a few card cases and coin purses, my boxy cosmetic case that I never use, you know, just little things here and there for like $20. Um, that they offered me and I was fine. I was totally fine with that because those are honestly items that I never use and I'll be happy to give away Anyways, I'm happy to gift them to people. I've, I've gifted my friends and family so many coach items Honestly, I don't think they want any more. So I was happy to let th those go to them at the end of the day Everything I gave to them was about $70 or so. Um, I bought a pair of glasses for my friend there. So I did kind of like an exchange so I think everything was about $100 and then I got the glasses. So I walked away with about $75 in cash. It was a good experience to have because now I know. Okay. So some of the other things I bought, I got some things from Coach and then I got some underwear from Victoria's Secret, which I don't think I've ever shopped at Victoria's Secret before, but I did today. But anyways, and then I got something from Guess, which... Guess Outlet, guys, is great. Whenever I go to that particular outlet mall, Cross Iron Mills, I always go to Guess Outlet and I always find the best things. So now I'm like, I always want to shop at Guess Outlet because even when I go to their boutique in the Chinook Mall, I like like buying their t-shirts when they're on sale. So I'm like, the outlet is great. I have at least two Guess Outlet t-shirts and two Guess Boutique t-shirts. And I just think Guess is a good place to shop. It's an OG store, but I think they still have really nice and trendy pieces. And at the outlets, they're great prices. Like there's always sale upon sale upon sale. And honestly, there were a lot of things I wanted to buy, but I'm like, I'm not buying this year. I'm not buying this year. This is a no spend, a low spend year. So I had to restrict myself. But I did buy this shirt for um, $27.50, which was absolutely awesome because it is a beautiful shirt. It was between this and another black one. Uh, and then I ended up working with, out with this one because the other black one was 40 something dollars and it was honestly a pain to wear but it was so beautiful but I got this one instead and I got it in a medium because they didn't have a small but the medium works fine as well it's an off shoulder piece so this little v neck here is so pretty so gorgeous and it is a um, what are they called I'm, I'm so not Gen Z I'm so not woke what do they call these types of shirts with the snaps <laughs> 
I have no idea what they're called. Body suits? Body suits, that's what they are. So I got that, which was honestly a hassle to put it on in the dressing room, but I think I will get used to it. But yeah, very nice, sheer, very dressy. Like I can dress it up, I can dress it down, and I honestly can't wait to wear that. So that is what I got from guests all of $27 and I'm happy. I paid for it in cash with the money I got from Style of course. I was so excited. I was like, look at me being so conscious of my money and all of that. I was so excited about that. So I got that. And then from Coach, I got two key holders or bag charms. And I did not pay for these by myself. My friend, my Phoebe, my darling, bought me one Sorry, so she's like i don't know that one thank you alexa i wasn't talking to you Thanks alexa for letting me know oh my god alexa is so nosy <laughs> hmm, i'm not sure <laughs> okay so i got the two bad charms my friend bought me one because she's like she didn't get anything for my birthday so she gladly bought the bad charm for me and uh, so there's two of them. I bought one for myself. She bought one for me. I don't know which is which. So I'm just going to open this one. Um, oh, okay. So this is the one from the Tom Wesselman collection. I honestly can't believe that they still had these in stock. They had this and the red one. Honestly, Canadians were really not feeling that Tom Wesselman collection. Like even in the back, because I asked um, my essay if there were any boutique items in the back, like if they had reserved stock, they didn't even put them out at all. So it pays to ask, right? So even if you don't see a reserve section at your outlet store, still ask your essays. They'll tell you if they have anything in the back. So they had um, the pillow tabbies. They had one of the Tom Wesselman rugs, the one with the lipsticks. And then they had uh, the Tom Wesselman crossbody, I believe. And then they had these. On the counter actually these were not in the back they had the black lips and the red lips and so i had always wanted the black lips I was like i don't need it i don't need it and since i saw it this time it was still there i was like this this is a sign and i picked it up so i absolutely love the lips i cannot wait to wear that and i got that one for um 60 dollars canadian minus tax plus tax it was 63. expensive for a bag charm um, but I'm happy and my friend paid for it. So this was my birthday present from her. So that was very sweet. Um, next was this one from the new collection, the hearts or the Valentine collection. And it is another bag charm. Look at this little cutie. Isn't it so cute? Like, just look at that. With the different hearts so you have this heart it's really nice and glittery and then you have this pink heart which is chunky and then you have this heart which is kind of like a heart like a gel heart if that makes sense and then you have this Plain heart that says coach. And honestly, coach uh, bag charms are really nice. Like, I, I absolutely love them. I think they're great quality and they're um, a good price for what you get. So, I don't use them as keychains. So, I take off the key rings and I use the clips because I just use them as bag charms. So, that one was uh, $49 Canadian, $51.45 with tax so very happy and that's my coach haul for today i hope you guys enjoyed it right now we're getting ready to go watch a hockey match i love sports i love watching sports i used to love playing sports when i was younger um my options here are <laughs> very few hockey is like the big sport here so i like to go when we can to watch it's just something really nice to do so we're going tonight the less the the Lethbridge Hurricanes are playing the Red Deer Rebels. So we're going to watch that, which is why I'm dressed up. Um, we'll be leaving very soon, and I'm sure it's going to be a fun game. It's definitely going to be something fun to do this weekend. I hope you guys have had a great month so far and an awesome beginning of the year, 2023. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched my Shop With Me vlog from Coach Outlet and Kate Spade Outlet, 
um, then I will link that right here so you can see all of the new items in both stores. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in this video. Bye!